20 years ago, I was the director of the survey that first identified this project as a problem in the creek. So it's very gratifying to see the project finally come to fruition. It's a big project, it's the biggest barrier on the creek, and it's really important not only for Battle Creek, but also for Central Valley winter run Chinook salmon, which are an endangered species that only has one population in California. So this project is key to reestablishing another population of winter run in the Central Valley. Highly important to not only the Fish and Wildlife Service, but also a lot of water users in California. Based upon restrictions due to the Endangered Species Act, the amount of water that's diverted from the delta is dependent upon how many winter run Chinook are in the system. When there are low numbers of fish, less water can be diverted to water users downstream. Historically, the boulders that were in Eagle Canyon were blocking passage for winter run to be able to get up to colder water. Really important part of the Zalmanid life stage. We have engineering geologists that did some initial assessments of the gorge area to figure out how feasible is it to really move forward with modifying the barriers. Design work included water level monitoring, mapping, ground-based LIDAR scanning of the entire facility. It allowed us to really understand the boulder structure. The problem that we identified is that there's a fish passage barrier that is um, a vertical drop of around eight feet. In addition to the large drop, there is no pool. So there is no, no opportunity for fish to uh, gain velocity to, to launch out of a pool and, and overcome that drop. The end result will be a channel that's gonna have a slope of about 9.2%. Once we're done, the fish will be able to navigate that. This crane is a uh, Manitowoc 2250. It's a 300 ton crane. There's some huge things that we're lifting out. These boulders are the size of uh, full-size pickups and then some. It'll be the first time that I've actually put the environment first. Usually it's care about the environment, but that's second to the project. This, the environment and the fish is the project. So it's pretty extraordinary. This project has been a major collaboration between Caltrout and our partners. It's absolutely incredible, the coordination out here. The crane operator can't see to the bottom of the canyon, so it's all done by radio communication. Being able to build new riffles in a very steep canyon environment was really challenging, and our team excelled. From Mike Levin Associates, to Sibylon Reed, to Hamet Environmental Services, we all worked together. We were able to finish almost two months ahead of schedule. All the in-channel work was achieved much quicker than we ever anticipated. A really important aspect of developing landowner relationships is creating trust, and I think that's something that Caltrow really excels at, is trying to build those relationships with landowners and, and help them see that what they're doing is part of a bigger whole. If other landowners have reservations, they're worried about their land or their privacy, I can say right now there's really nothing to worry about. Um, this has just been a really, really positive experience. Not typical to see uh, an organization like Caltrout be a manager of a construction project, especially one like this, uh, but it has proved fruitful and I think it's very helpful to have an organization like Caltrout that's part and parcel and leading the way. I think we all have a responsibility to, you know, watch out for our environment and, you know, when things happen like these barriers that are threatening one of the last natural waterways for winter run Chinook salmon in our state, you can't just ignore that and turn your back. You have to step up and help whatever way you can.